Hi, my name is Emily McDougall and I have done quite a few performances, lots of school musicals and performances with my performance academy and I also teach with my performance academy which is pretty exciting. The first musical that I ever had a lead role in was probably um, my school musical of Annie in 2013 when I played Grace Farrell. I wouldn't say that performance anxiety is something that every performer experiences but I would I say that it's pretty common like you come across people that have had stage fright from such a young age and it's traveled into their adult life with them and it's impacting on their ability to perform at their fullest potential. I know people that say they don't have stage fright or it doesn't affect them and like I was that way up until a certain age as well like I was like oh I don't get nervous when I go on stage. Ever since I started like competing in like competitions and things I've really had really really terrible nerves and I think just overcoming them is a challenge that I've just set for myself. Dissatisfaction with your body is, yeah, it's somewhat common in musical theatre because there are certain roles that people have to portray that require them to be a certain body type. So they might have to put on or lose weight and it just might make them feel unhappy with who they are as a person. And yeah, I do think it is common in musical theatre. I do think that theatre culture is supportive of people with mental illness. The music and the lyrics and combining that with movement and acting really gives people a sense of having like a little bit of an out of body experience. It's enough for people with maybe anxiety to be able to have that escape just the feelings that you have when you're performing or when you really nail that one song that you've been trying to get for weeks, it just all makes it worth it.